Hey, what is up? This is Tyler G of Batman Figs on Instagram. And today we're just going to be taking a look at the box and how it can be used for a diorama piece, for pictures, um, other uses, as well as showing you how to turn off those lights that shine into the cells because a lot of people are having trouble um, getting them off. A lot of people think maybe there's an off button or wondering if they just forgot to exclude one. And I'll just show you what I did. Maybe it will help, maybe it won't. But hopefully it does, so you don't just have to take out the battery every time and put it back in. But, as you can see right now, um, the rooftop portion of this can fit a lot of figures. It can fit way more than this. And I'll show you. It is a very cool piece, the top part. Uh, I don't have the bat signal that come came with the two-pack, or that came with the... Batmobile slash two pack of Batman and Robin just because I didn't want to pay all that money just to have a two of the same figure and a light but uh, you can fit on top of there apparently if you have the bat signal so that would make for a lot of cool pictures and then the picture that I, that I did today uh, it should be in the thumbnail and on my Instagram you could use these cells as well and these may be a little easier to do pictures just because it doesn't have the plastic going through like see-through to the cell because there's less glare so it is a little cool to do and you can have Harley cell you have jokers this is supposed to be Catwoman's I believe and scratches and little paws and then, of course, the Riddler. And so, yeah, I think that's really cool. Since you did have to, you did pay money, not just for the figures, but for this special box piece. And I think they did a good job. I don't know if it justifies the complete hike in price for the five figures. Because five figures would be $100 at 20 a pop. A little over for 25 a pop and these are usually 25 a pop and so that'd be and then you add all that extra for the box and it ends up being around 175 is the suggested retail I, uh, it's a little steep but hopefully you can get a lot of use out of this so I'm going to take these off right now and then I'm going to show you the lights in the front. Okay. As I'm, sh I'm sure you're all aware, they have lights. Bane's light is red. Sorry, you can't really see it well. I'm sorry about the glare. Killer Croc, trust me, is yellow. <laughs> Mr. Freeze, you can see, is blue. And Ivy is green. And uh, you can take pictures with them in the cells in there, and it looks cool. You just got to get the right lighting to get not get the glare. And it also is tough to put them in there, then shove the, uh, the box back in and get them to stand in the position you want in the cell. So that's a little tough, but with patience, you can get it to work and do some cool shots. And then here, you just take this off. And then what you had to do to get the lights to work is pull a tab out of here. And then the lights go on. And then it looks like there's a switch. Here, let me focus. Looks like there's a switch there. But you can't really push down anything. There's a red tab where if you push down on it, the lights turn off. So. Or you could take a little screwdriver Phillips head and just take out one of the AAA batteries it takes two but I don't want to do that every time so it's not a super innovative innovative approach and I'm sure that others have done it but all all that I did was take a piece of scotch tape and put it long way so it has 
more area to grab and become tight. You have to make sure it's super taut and make sure that red button's down. And then, oh, didn't work. Yeah. And that's the thing too, you might have to, to make sure you get it secure and to get it down because you don't want to waste the batteries. I mean, you could, but you're just be running to the store a lot. So I, I did two across and one down to pull it down. And that's what worked in the videos and it kept it off. It kept the lights off the whole time I wanted in the video, so hopefully it works. That's with two. My lights still aren't on. And then I went one down. So up here. And again, make sure it's really tight. Stretch it, pull it down. And the lights are off. And you can put it back in the box. And they remain off. And they remain off for a decent amount of time. I think eventually, after a while, it might start to get some slack. But I mean, if you want to, you could just unscrew the little screwdriver and take out the battery if that's less work. Uh, so far, when I took off the tape too, as well, it didn't mess up the box or anything or start ripping away at the cardboard, so that's good. But that's just my, that's just what I, my idea, my take. Hopefully it works uh, for you. But yeah, I think this is, this is a really, this is a cool box and could definitely be used for some picture ideas but like I said early on and a lot of people I've heard are kind of not liking how steep the price is I don't know if the box itself justifies how much this actually cost because again five figures at 25 a pop and that is what they're usually if you bought them solo and this set all together cost 175 in the comics or in the comic shops plus tax. I got it on Amazon so I found it cheaper. But then with shipping and stuff it almost comes out to 175 anyway, so Yeah, you could get some use out of it. Do I think it's worth the price in total? No. But the figures are awesome, and it's the only way you're going to get the figures, so they got you there. <laughs> but overall, I am I am happy. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm down or feel bad that, you know, I paid to get the set. I love the set. I love how great the figures turned out. I'll pay a few extra dollars to get these figures because... It's one of the lines. It's my favorite line. It's the line that I first started collecting full time. So, yeah, I'll pay a few extra dollars to get this. I've come too far to stop now. But anyways, uh, some of you guys were leaving comments. A few people, not a lot of you, but I had a few people give comments about the Mr. Freeze and they, they seemed kind of angry. Uh, because in my review of Mr. Freeze, I wasn't sure if his waist had articulation and could rotate. So they were putting like, well, didn't you see the DC Collectibles guys talk about that? And they explained it in their unopening box video. And the answer to that is no, I did not see that. And the reason being is because if I know I'm gonna buy this set, I already knew I was gonna buy it. I don't, I don't need to see a review on it. It's already automatic. And so I already bought it, and for the price that I paid for it, there's no way that I want to watch the guys that made it and that could really care less probably about how cool the box is because they're around it all the time or how cool the figures are because they make it. So it's like a big, not a big deal to them, I feel like. But to me, I paid a ton of money, and I've been waiting for these figures, so I'm excited to experience it and open it myself. 
I don't want my joy to be robbed by watching a couple of guys at the headquarters open it and joke around. So that is my answer to that, and that's why it's like I'm glad. That's why I asked you guys. I'm glad that some of you guys knew the answer. But if you're gonna respond, don't do it like you're pissed at me. Just ask, oh, why didn't you watch this? And that is my answer. Uh, I don't watch a lot of reviews unless I'm on the fence about getting a figure. And the reason being is because if I purchase a figure that I'm looking forward to, I want to experience the opening of the box myself and discovering all the stuff myself. I don't want to already know what to expect. I don't want to know all the accessories all the time um, or the little surprises that uh, they might throw in the box. So that is my answer. It's like a movie. Not everyone wants to be spoiled or read all the reviews about a movie before they go see it, right? That's how I am about my toys sometimes. So again, I appreciate those that... Um, kindly let me know about Mr. Freeze's waist articulation. That is much appreciated. And to the people that were being sarcastic and stuff, just be a little less rude next time or realize everyone's got a little different uh, situation on how they collect or what they, how they approach getting their, their products. So hope you guys have a good day. Hope you enjoyed this review, and if you want to check out more pictures, of course, go to my Instagram, which is Batman Figs, Batman F-I-G-S. I will be getting back to doing the daily episode reviews um, Monday, or I don't know when you're seeing this, but if you're seeing this when I posted it, Monday, and... It's going to be fun because it's, I'm still in the BTAS seasons before it's the new design, so I got some new characters to use. Should be fun. All right. I'll see you guys later.